The natural log of 1 over x is a composite function, so to take its derivative, we'll need to use the chain rule, which tells us the derivative of a composite function, f of g of x, is f prime of g of x multiplied by g prime of x. So we need to accurately identify our outside and inside function in this case, and then we can apply the chain rule. In this problem, the outside function, which we may call f of x, is the natural log of a thing. So f of x is the natural log of x. g of x, the inside function, is this 1 over x that's inside the log. So having identified our f and g, we can apply the chain rule. The derivative of the natural log of 1 over x will begin with f prime, the derivative of the outside function. The outside function is the natural log of x, and the derivative of the natural log of x is 1 over x. But remember, it's not x that we want in f prime, it's g of x that needs to be in f prime. So rather than x, we should have g of x, which is 1 over x. So this is the derivative of f evaluated at the inside function, g. We then multiply by g prime, the derivative of the inside function. The inside function is 1 over x, which is the same as x to the negative 1. So to take the derivative of that, we just need the power rule. That tells us the derivative will be negative x to the negative 2. The negative comes from bringing the exponent out front as a factor, and then we need to reduce the exponent by 1. Now, dividing by a fraction is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal. So this is the same as negative, bringing that negative to the front negative x multiplied by x to the negative 2, which is the same as negative x to the negative 1 by our exponent rules. Thus, the derivative of the natural log of 1 over x is negative x to the negative 1, which we could also write as negative 1 divided by x. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, and be sure to check out my Calculus 1 course and Calculus 1 exercises playlists in the description for more. Thanks for watching.